So I want to do a bit of an, an update across all the markets today. Um, we'll be looking at gold, silver, um, the mining stocks, stock market, even we'll looking at good old Bitcoin and Ethereum and stuff like that. And uh, and tell you what, I tell you right now, guys, very exciting stuff that's happening in the miners and in the in the gold and silver. But uh, you guys knew that what was hap what's happening right now in Bitcoin is is likely to happen, right? Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders, before I get started. Make sure you grab that $7 trading course that I'm running right now. If you need your breakthrough, if you need your help, then you need the breakthrough and go over to johnsflashsale.com, grab that $7 trading course, and hey, if you're not happy with it, just email me and I'll refund you your seven bucks. All right, guys. Now, let's go over to, let's actually start off with the good old gold and see what actually happened today and what's going on. Looking at the, uh, looking at the last sort of six months or so, or the last sort of maybe even just one year, you can see that with gold right now, we're still in this overall territory of where we're not doing much. Just not doing much. It's just, and you can see we, we did find major level of support is around 1800. We're not there yet after this bit of a pullback through here. Um, but as you can see, we did, we did find a, we did, again, just really not much. We did sort of, that'll be that sort of level there, right? You can see how, really not much going on when it comes to gold we're really hot we had a bit of a pullback recently really holding strong here so to me guys i i was actually saying this to my private clients today i get so excited when i see patterns that look like this where the market's gone sideways and not much is going on why because the worst thing that you can do right is go buy bitcoin the worst thing you can do is go buy bitcoin when when what when um you know, when it's already already made a big move. Um, when was the right time to buy Bitcoin? The right time to Bitcoin when, when it wasn't doing much. And then guess what? When when it wasn't doing much, you had to wait good, what? Maybe four, five, maybe six months, and then we made the big move. That's the mentality you want to see when it comes to gold as well too. So we're not doing much here, still just hobbing around. But I'm telling you right now, guys, things are heating up and I'm seeing some very, 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 very exciting moves coming out of gold. Uh, real soon as well too. So silver, actually, you know what? When it comes to gold, let me actually share something with you. Look at this here. There was actually a trend line here that I saw. Uh, if I draw a trend line from there to there, look at that there. Isn't that, a, isn't that fascinating? Look what happened recently. We had this support level through here. If I just connect this low level through here and I zoom closer up, look where we bounced off. We actually came right down to the support level and stopped right there. Coincidence? I think not. Moving over now, it's to, to silver, 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 and silver's actually, I, I really like silver. We had a very nice move up, nice pullback. We're almost at that long-term level of support line through here, and we're sort of holding where we are right now. So um, silver to me is getting really, really, once again, look at all this sideways range, all this sideways, really just, you know, dead in the door now. And to me, this is really, really, really exciting news because once we do break and once once we do break above 30, you bet believe that those people out there, or should I say no, you bet believe that coming very shortly after it breaks 30, everyone's gonna not be talking about Bitcoin, but oh my goodness, silver and miners and metals and it's time to jump on and let's go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, time to get out there. When that happens, time for me to get out. <laughs> So this is getting very, 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 very exciting, guys. Building a lot of energy here, as I say, when it looks at these stock markets, stock markets, stock the stock market, and it's building a lot of energy. So um, moving over now through to the SILJ, and really not again, really not much going on. A bit, bit of a down day recently. Um, we do have, we do or did have, or we do have a bit of a bit of a support line going on through there as well too. I'm not sure if that's going to hold or not, but it'd be really interesting to see if we do hold here when it comes to that support line. The GDX, same sort of thing as well too. But you can see we're actually just right at that level of support right now as well too. So it'd be really interesting to see whether that does hold as well. SIL, and let's actually draw that long-term trend line once again from there to there. And as you can see, there's actually a very, very, very long-term trend line coming up. So if we, if we did get a bit more of a pullback. 
we're probably likely to find support, especially on the silver silver juniors and also the SIL. Once again, if I draw my good old trend line from there to there, I'm starting from this major low point and connecting these last two points up through. You can see we're sort of squeezing up into a triangle pattern now, aren't we? Really squeezing up into a triangle pattern here. So looking very, very, very interesting, guys, to say, um, to say at least when it comes to uh, the silver mining stocks and so on and so forth. So um, I'm very, very, very on the bullish camp, guys. And uh, those who have patience, which most of you bumblebees that watch my video don't, uh, but those, that small little section there, that of, of bum, the small little section of bumblebees that watch my video, <laughs> I call you bumblebees because one day you get, you, oh my goodness, it went down today. Um, yeah, the small little bumblebees that are patient, I believe are going to be definitely handsomely rewarded very, very, very soon. Maybe I've been out through the stock market, the stock market is just not doing much, not doing much at all. We do have a bit of a long-term trend line coming up through there to there, so that may come into play with the Dow Jones. Um, but, man, the stock market is just quiet as hell. Um, really not much going on uh, at all when it comes to the good old stocky market. Um, there is a bit of a support line coming from this low point to this high point. So if we do get a bit of a pullback, there could be a bit of a support level through here. Um, if we do get a bit of a pullback, I believe this support level won't hold, and I believe we're likely to get down to, we're likely to have at least a, a 10 or a 15% pullback, so somewhere around about there. Um, uh, first, before, uh, if we do get a pullback, we're pro it's, it's, it's probably likely to see a, a deep, deep pullback in the markets there. Now, let's go have a look at the good old crypto currency. The crypto, crypto currency, right? I'm bringing on, I'm bringing on investing.com because I don't have my crypto platform open but let's have a look at crypto and uh where is bitcoin right now all right so bitcoin right now as you can see had a very big 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 flush down and guys this is not the end this is not the this is not a short-term little break before it goes to fifty thousand. no this is the start of a significant down move you know at least if i bring up my weekly charts and like how big is the move like you know bitcoin crash coming here we go um, so I believe we are likely to see probably Bitcoin back down to around 25, maybe even 20, maybe down to as low as 20,000. Oh, John, that's not going to happen. You don't know. This guy's an idiot. Oh, why am I watching this guy for? He has no idea. This time is different. Blah, 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 right? It's like, <laughs> what happened last time we got a big spike? History doesn't repeat itself, but it surely does rhyme a lot. And that's what Bitcoin does. Haven't you noticed? Don't you study Bitcoin? What it, you know? Don't you? Oh, but Bitcoin's different, John. Bitcoin's not the stock market. Yeah, I know that. But study what Bitcoin does. That's what the big. That's what the Bitcoin does. It has a rocket ship up, and then it has a crashing move down, and then it has a rocket ship up, and then it has a crashing move down. And every time it has a rocket ship up, it makes new highs. It went to twenty thousand, and then a crash move down. It's like John, you don't understand. You don't understand, John. You don't understand. Yeah, really? Look at this here. There we go. Look at this back here. Look at look at the initial phase. Rocket ship up, moving down. Rocket ship up, moving down. Rocket ship up. And then yeah, we're probably likely to see a significant, significant deep pullback. So guys, this is the start, I believe. This is the start of a downward phase. Not no yet not oh well let's buy Bitcoin now at thirty five thousand. Don't be hocking your all. Don't be loading up, guys, 100% of your account on Bitcoin. Um, right? Just just don't be doing that. Um, and also Ethereum, which actually I was in Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum. 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 Let's go here. All right, cool. Ethereum. I actually recently got stopped out of Ethereum myself as well, too. I actually rode Ethereum up. I got into Ethereum right here. I got, I got My private clients know this as well, too. I got into Ethereum right here. So that's where I got in there. And then as this market was exploding to the upside, um, and I did get into there, guys. Um, you don't believe me? That doesn't matter. My private clients know because I showed them exactly when I got into it. Um, and then I moved my stop up and then I recently got stopped out around about the, what's that there? Around about, around about recently on that 1,000 level there, um, on that big flush down recently this morning, uh, or recently today, that's where I got stopped out. So 
What I'm seeing right now, guys, is that the Bitcoin bubble is busting and we're likely to see another rocket. We now start to see another crash in the crypto markets and Bitcoin Bitcoin crash. Um, silver and gold are looking really, really interesting. I do see, we're probably likely to see some form of a pullback in the stock market. I do see a bit of a pullback in the stock market as, as well too, guys. Um, I know I just feel that. But once again, the miners and metals are shaping up to have a really, really, really good bullish year. Um, I'm very, very, very excited about the miners and metals this year and what's likely to come with that. So there we go, guys. Make sure you go down to johnsflashsale.com to grab that $7 trading course and get the breakthrough you need. And I'll speak to you guys real soon.